Um, a bit of a spoiler alert, guys. I've been working on Destroyer. No, he's never going to get a 6-star skill. He already got his tier 2. But we got to crack some bios on Destroyer. Okay, 90 bios. Let's see how far 90 bios gets us. Greetings, Nightbot. Alright, 90 bios. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. 13. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. 90 bios. Here we go. I'm old enough. No, 19 bios. That's not good, guys. Alright, we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. I'm at the 40-40 club. Here we go, boys. Tier 2 tin can. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Chris with Phone Cats. Today, we're gonna be uh, doing this here. Uh, playing some Clash Royale Destroyer Tier 2. Boom. There we go, guys. Play vicariously through me. Alright, ticket it is. Ticket it is. The crowd has spoken. I See, the thing is, the ju here, the, here, the justification, the logic behind using the gold, the logic behind using, a gold, using gold is that I have the bios, right? I have enough bios. The logic behind using the ticket is that I'll can, I can keep the bios um, for for the event that Enchantress gets a uniform because then I need her bios to do a uniform upgrade. So here's hoping that Enchantress gets a uh, uniform. All right, dope. We got another tier two. Asgardian Temptress. Absolutely tempted. I am so tempted, bros. Super tempted. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today, of course, we're talking about my latest shiny tier 2 characters, Destroyer and Enchantress. Now, I wanted to start off the video by letting you guys see how it happened that as it did on stream, just because I think the experience is pretty fun, and I wanted to, uh, you know, talk about why I did that after showing actually doing it, and you know what the the idea was behind that for me, what the incentive was or the justification was for it, and so that you guys can keep up to date with what I'm doing next as far as character development goes. It's probably one of the questions I get most frequently. Hey, Cynic Alex, what? tier 2 character are you getting next, especially after a patch hits. Now Enchantress has been available as a tier 2 character since she was released, so she's actually not a new one, but Destroyer was in the latest um, tier 2 update with uh, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, etc. So I did get that question a lot after covering those in a previous video, if you guys haven't checked that out. So I wanted to uh, bring this stream highlight to your attention, guys, not only to address that question, but also just to bring up the conversation once again about uh, what kinds of questions you can ask yourself and what kind of thought processes you can go through as I go through when deciding on who to tier to next. Now, I will admit that a lot of my basis for tier 2 in Destroyer is just for the hype. Uh, Destroyer is touted as like a, you know, quote unquote, Doctor Strange counter. And while I don't think that's true, I don't think that, that there is any Doctor Strange counter. I do think that Destroyer is pretty hilarious. I think that his uh, reflect energy is unique enough. It's novel enough. And it actually does have some unique circumstances where it does work. However, you do need to gear the character specifically for that and nothing else. And he needs other characters on the team to help him and he needs a little bit of luck. So I do want to uh, you know say and preface what what I did with the disclaimer that you know just just if you tier two your destroyer you can't expect to just roll over and trounce all all Doctor Stranges and all energy based characters. Destroyer still needs a lot of love and a lot of help as far as his obelisk goes. You do need a very defensively minded heal oriented or invincibility oriented obelisk. You do need an, a defensively oriented ISO 8 set because Destroyer will never be a, a great offensive threat. And then you actually also do need a little bit of luck because there are characters who can debuff Destroyer, thereby stripping him of his uh, Asgardian armament reflect for a period of time in which he would basically be rendered useless because the character is basically just a giant reflect proximity mine waiting to go off. 
That being said, on stream we did demonstrate his power in timeline battle, which is you know the most readily available source of PvP for me. Uh, in PvE content, in regular stuff like world boss and story missions and special missions, destroyer is basically you know unusable as far as just being a pylon that reflects damage. You can go and take him in as a regular character, but he's not going to perform up to snuff. The real power of uh, Destroyer is when he's paired up with other people in a in a 3v3 scenario like Alliance tournaments or Shadowland King of the Hill or timeline battle because you can rotate and you get all of the buffs active at the same time where he can uh, or also battle world where he can reflect enough damage to kill many energy based characters which happen to represent the majority of strong characters in the game you know Proxima, Supergiant, Odin, uh, Doctor Strange, Enchantress, etc. So I mainly tier 2 Destroyer for the hype of it. Uh, I have to say I'm not, you know, drop da dead jaw to the ground impressed with his tier 2. Uh, I definitely wouldn't recommend it as your first or second or even 10th tier 2 if you're building your roster to complete game mode. If, if you just want to have fun in the game, sure, you can tier 2 Destroyer. He's just going to do what he already does well. He's going to do it even better. He's basically the, the top counter potentially or the top reflect damage character in the game luke cage obviously being behind him uh, as far as enchantress goes i tier twoed her uh, mainly for the consistency uh, now i didn't necessarily need any help in world boss or shadowlands uh you know to, in order to tier two her for that reason so it wasn't out of necessity but uh, when you tier two her it does increase the uh, chance or the effect of uh, maiden's farewell and the spellbound passive where it charms for five seconds so the tier two just basically means that it will just always happen as you can see it just says when you use the skill charm the enemy for five seconds there's no percent uh activation rate i believe it's 70 percent at tier one it's just all the time so it's just some added consistency i can clear world boss faster if i'm running short on time for the day and i desperately need to get a, my fifth kill in i can reliably pick enchantress and kill the boss not very fast because her damage is, is not top tier like dr strange but i know that i'm not going to have any problems i barely even have to watch the game while i'm playing Obviously, that's not good as far as engagement goes, so it's not something that I'm going to go to a lot because I'm, I'm sure it will get boring after, you know, 20 or 30 or 100 times just, just endlessly charming the enemy. But it is uh, a bit entertaining right now to do, and it did make me uh, use the character a little bit more than I had because I had kind of put her on the shelf and she was gathering a little bit of dust. As well, I have to say that Enchantress is quite formidable in PvP content. Now again, I'm not big on the PvP scene right now. I'm not in Alliance tournaments. I don't take Timeline Battle that seriously. Battle World's kind of a joke. But in the event that we get more um, PvP themed arenas, even if they're just friendly, I would love to take a Tier 2 Enchantress into there and troll some of my you know, Alliance members, some of uh, my enemies, some of my trolls. I'd like to troll you guys back once in a while on this channel. And boom goes the dynamite. So I justified my investment that way. Uh, Enchantress is never really going to stop being a useful character that's high in the meta due to the unique nature of her character. Uh, the Maiden's Farewell skill is very, very unique. It's one of the only CC all skills in the game next to, of course, Doctor Strange's Time Freeze. So I felt like it was an investment that won't run out or become obsolete anytime soon. I may be wrong about that. But I'm, you know, hoping that I'm not, at least for another, you know, year. And the justification behind using uh, a tier 2 ticket instead of uh, using it naturally, as you can see, I still have those 150 bios, was of course because of a potential uniform. And I want to bring this to light just because it's not really something to make a whole video about, but it is important if you're at this stage in the game. Now, of course, for native tier 2 characters like Doctor Strange, the Black Order, Odin, that doesn't matter. You're not going to get their character bios. Uh, and you're not going to need them for uniform upgrades. But it's important to note for characters who are paywall, characters who need a bio subscription, that stockpiling at least a small number of their biometrics, 
uh, as a safeguard in the event that they suddenly get a uniform is actually really important. So I actually have been spending the last few days of my bio sub getting Carnage biometrics. I stopped getting Iron Heart biometrics because I really don't think I'm going to need any more. I don't have any intention of tier 2ing her, and I don't think I need more than, you know, 400 bios to get all of her gears up to level 20. And so I wanted to bring that up uh, as an aside, but as an interconnected uh, idea to the one that I had about Enchantress when I chose to use chat shows, but I also chose to use the the ticket over the uh, natural way with the black antimatter and the chaos Nordstones and the two and a half million gold. So I'm curious to know what you guys think of my most recent selections. If you think that Destroyer and Enchantress were good picks. Uh, I kind of want to tier 2 uh, Luke Cage, so let me know guys if you think that Luke Cage is a good investment. I really want to see just how powerful that physical reflect can be, especially in PvP guys. Trolling is pretty fun in the rare moments that we do get to do it in this game. So let me know guys, let me know who your next tier 2 is if you have someone lined up, or if there's someone who hasn't gotten one yet that you're really itching to tier 2, like someone from the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And of course guys, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.